Hello and welcome to We Are Finn. With me now I have Marshall Aikins from Carpenter Technology. Marshall, thank you for joining us today. I know we're going to get a great insight into your company. Uh, talk to me about 3D printing because I want you to tell me some of the um, considerations a company, a manufacturer has to think about, a manufacturer of airplanes, before they start to venture into 3D printing. Sure. Yeah, I mean, the, the 3D printing um, environment is very uh, hot right now. It's a big, big topic. Uh, lots of folks interested in exploring it. Uh, lots of benefits that the you know it's going to bring to the supply chain. Uh, clearly, you have to consider before you can get to the place where you're producing parts. You have to consider what materials could you use to produce, on what type of machines, uh, and you have to get a prototype, and then you have to get a repeatable process to prove that you can produce quality parts that are worth flying around on. Uh, so you really have to go through an extensive process to, uh, you know, understand the materials, the production process, the design the whole thing and make sure you can have quality parts produced. And Carpenter Technology, of course, are well known for working in collaboration with your, your companies to make sure that that process is as easy as possible. Correct. Yeah, we're the um, world's largest producer of additive manufacturing powders, which is the initial feedstock, and we supply uh, engineering or, and support services and uh, print services all the way uh, through that entire uh, process for whatever our customers may need help with. So talk to me then about the benefits you mentioned there that this brings to the supply chain. So we're seeing a lot of benefits that customers are expecting and already realizing. Obviously, uh, improved design uh, of parts is a big, is a big one uh, to improve performance of the end application. Faster lead time is another large one. Some of the supply chains are experiencing lengthy lead times for replacement parts out to you know, multiple years. So obviously, if you can just print it right there, that's great. Um, and then lowered, you know, working capital through the whole supply chain because you have fewer parts you have to maintain. So a lot of benefits overall that, that customers are experiencing. Now, of course, the aerospace industry is very well regulated. Uh, how does 3D printing fit in with certification these days? Yeah, that's a good question. And that, that relates really to that last part I was speaking about around once you have a part that you're ready to, to go into production with, you have to have a serial production process that you believe in that can be approved. Um, Carpenter, we believe, are, are very good in that area. We achieved the first NADCAP certification for an additive uh, manufacturing facility. So um, you really have to work hard to think about uh, you know, the process, the machine you're using, the feedstock, et cetera, to get it right every time. And um, finally, you know, Carpenter Technologies, you are the guys that helped the, the Wright brothers get into the air. What does it feel like to be part of a company that's made such a fantastic transformation? Oh, you know, it's an exciting time. Uh, it's exciting to continue to see uh, how the aerospace uh, industry is evolving uh, from uh, electrification of planes to additive, and, and Carpenter plays really uh, with material solutions across all those areas. So it's a really exciting time to, to be in aerospace uh, and to see where we're going to go next. Marshall, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, now for the latest, uh, not just on Carpenter Technologies, but 3D printing in the world of aviation and aerospace in general, you'll find all the latest news and reports online right now at wearefin.com.